still not communicating? I don't know if we want to ask you. Yeah, I'm not going to answer. What else? Is he going to take the stand in his own defense, sir? Not answering that one either. What else? <laughs> what have you advised him to do? I don't tell you what I advise my clients to do. How would you feel about the testimony to it, today, uh, Mr. Weinstein? How do I feel about uh, yeah, it? Yeah, everything that was presented. I think I think that it was important that uh, the jury meet the Freen family. They were, it's important that they understand what was going on in the Freen household all those years. And uh, and I believe that, uh, uh, you know, and that was our goal. Our goal was to present uh, Eric and Eric's family uh, in the light of how they lived. What was going on there all those years? How do you characterize that, sir? Well, you got a, you got a, a father who, uh, who, before he got married, represented, uh, represented himself as a combat veteran of, the, of, the, uh, of, of Vietnam. His wife married him under those circumstances. Uh, they started a family under those circumstances. You heard testimony from him himself that he spent his life telling people about his, 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 his war record. Which, uh, which Eric lived in, he grew up in that. He was a, remember, when you're, a, when you're a child, when you're born, the first person you learn from is your mom and dad. So he grew up with a, with a military war hero, worshiping a war hero. Uh, there's no coincidence that he tried to, uh, and, and admittedly he didn't go to college, but it was the, the same thing his father did. There you go. How well, is that, how is that a lie, right? Is, What's the father was living a lie, right? Clearly. How is that a mitigating factor? Why should the jury weigh that specifically? Well, the jury has to understand what, what, what you, don't, you don't wake up at age 31 in a vacuum. So the jury has to understand the person. I'm not, listen, this was not a defense. This is not a, let's be clear. You don't get defense. It's, it's something that we offered for a jury to consider to give us a sentence less than death. That's what mitigation is. Anything we present that's relevant, uh, that can convince a jury to give us a sentence of less than death is a mitigating circumstance. It's no accident that my son practices law and does the is in the same practice that I'm in. It's court appointed work. Uh, he, his mother says, he wants to get your approval. Eric couldn't get he was not successful in getting his father's approval. He tried to be an athlete. He tried to be in chemistry. Uh, he tried to be a, a war reenactor. He was unsuccessful at doing it. Father overshadowed him. Overshadowed him. His father had a PhD in the toughest subject yet. Uh, Eric tried it, failed. And remember, he also had a father who discussed his. Just his dismay with the government, to some extent, with the police departments. So that's the household that this boy was raised. Mike, what did well, you, what did you even, make of his mother at the end there crying, spare my son? She's a mother. I mean, my mother would have done the same thing. I think every yeah. every mother in this room, everybody who has a mother, would have done the same thing. My mother would have had the stagecoach to break.